that is the privilege of art, is to express exactly what you feel and to never lose that, to capture your childhood. You know, I say all the time, every opportunity that I get, every expanded opportunity to paint, uh, I feel like I'm getting younger and younger and younger. The idea of becoming an adult is the idea of conforming and compromising. My daughter, I know she goes to sleep and she dreams this whole plan about how she's going to get away with whatever she can possible by the time she wakes up. <laughs> and I think that that's also a responsibility of artists to try to get away with whatever you can. <laughs> because everyone's compromising. Everyone is placing themselves in a social debt based on how big their house is or how fast their car is and how fast the car is next door to them. They're losing their art. They're losing their passion. They're losing their purpose. It's like the whole world is based on showing how much you have or posturing in that way. I went into debt to chase my dreams. I went into debt when no one wanted a straight, black, American entertainer to design a dress. I went into debt as a rapper. As a rapper, people, I got my ghost, all this. And it was like this unspoken word amongst the industry that somehow people felt like they could posture on me. But I'm motherfucking Kanye West. <laughs> and <laughs> And there's no value of house, of car, of idea of debt that will control my three-year-old that I have inside of me, that will stop my artistry, that will stop my truth. There's no mass public perception. There's no immediate finger pointing that will stop my truth. So you've heard the term, no weapon against me shall prosper. And I would, I would gamble that there's no current celebrity that there have been more perceptions of mental or verbal press weapons formed against. And I'd also say there are none more prosperous. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just an example that it's all smoke and mirrors. Other than what the gentleman talked about earlier, none of it's real. <laughs>